All right, guys, we're gonna talk about final steps to publishing today. Ah. <laughs> this is obviously a huge topic, and as you can see, there is quite a checklist of things to do before you publish a book. So this video is for self-published authors or anybody who's interested in publishing and is just curious. And I've already thought of a couple more that I didn't put on there that I'll talk about, but um, I'm going to put this over on Patreon in my resource library for all of my patrons in the resource library tier and up. So go check this out. If you want to support me monthly and get cool freebies like this where I help you out, definitely go check that out. It'll be in the description box below. This was requested by my patrons that I do a video all about like the overall big picture, what goes into self-publishing and all the final steps. We're going to talk about all of these today. And if you guys like this type of content, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to support my channel. Let's dive right into it. Started. It's pretty basic right now. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much what I have so far. I have like my launch page, website, pre-orders, chapter sneak peek, um, giveaways, sending to patrons, um, making a map, and all that good stuff. But now I'm going to show you because this is not done and it's going to take a while to set up. So I don't think I'll finish today. I'm going to show you this. So these are my final steps to publishing. As you can see, there are a lot. And so I'm going to make this available over in my Patreon resource library. If you want that and you're in my Patreon group, the link is below. Go to the resource library and download this. But I'm just going to really briefly talk about each one. And I mean really briefly, because as you can tell, this is too much for one video. I'm going to tell you which of these I already have videos on and which I could make videos on in the future. So let's jump right into it. Number one is creating a budget. And I do have a video on this. It's called self-publishing costs and I talk about how much I personally spent. So I will put the link to that video in the playlist below. The next one is to choose a release date and I do have a video on this. So that is this guy. I have a whole video on how to fill this out. And once you start at the beginning with your outline and you just plan out all the way through to your release date, you will know your tentative release date. And then as it gets closer, you're going to choose it as a final and commit to it. The next one is finalizing your cover and your tagline. Hold on. Hold on. That's not right. That's not right at all. That should say title. Finalizing your title and your tagline. Okay. We're not at the cover point yet. Uh, so you're going to want to do your research on the title, on uh, good keywords maybe, and all that fun stuff. I can do a video on that if you want. I don't have one yet. Um, and then the next one is to finalize your blurb. That's the back of the book that when a reader flips the book over to read what it's about, that's called a blurb. You're going to want to get that really solid because that's, besides the cover, the second hugest factor for somebody buying your book. So finalizing your blurb, I do have a video on. I'll put that in the playlist that I talked about on final steps to publishing. Next is hire a cover designer. And so that one's pretty self-explanatory, but um, if you are interested, I have an indie author Facebook support group over on Facebook. The link is in um, the description box below. And so you can go sign up to be a part of that group. And we have like a cover designer um, tabby thing where you can just get recommendations from other people who have worked with cover designers who they like. And after that is hiring an editor. So again, fairly self-explanatory. You want somebody to edit your book and you want them to be good. So you're going to want them to do sample edits for you. And um, there are some great companies out there that have editors, or you could again, join the Indie Author Support Group on Facebook and yeah, get some recommendations. The next step is format slash hire a formatter. And I put slash because you can do this step yourself. And I do personally format myself. I have a whole video on formatting, super in detail, super helpful that hopefully will get you through all the bumps and confusion. Um, I'll again, Put that in the link below in the playlist 
final steps to publishing below. So if you want that, check it out. Um, but you can hire formatters and they often will work together with cover designers, which is really nice. And next we have make a marketing plan slash hire a PR company. Because again, this is a step that you could do yourself or you can hire somebody to do it for you. So it's really up to you. I do have videos on making a book release plan and all that good stuff. So I will put that in the final steps to publishing playlist below. Um, you sense a theme here? Cause yeah, I've done a lot of these, a lot of these topics. So <laughs> hopefully that'll be helpful to you guys. So next is creating a launch page. I have not done a video on this, but I have recently created a launch page for the Stolen Kingdom. So if you're curious what that looks like and you just want to see a launch page, go check out the links in the description for the Stolen Kingdom. It's just very basic right now. It's just simply saying, here's the synopsis. Here's when the book is coming out. Um, do you want an email alert when it releases? So as time goes on, I'll add to that launch page and it'll get more put together, possibly. Let me know if you want a video on that by putting launch in the comments or launch page. Uh, the next one is a one to two chapter sneak peek. So I really don't know how to go into detail on this besides saying you're sharing your chapters early. And so you can do it however you want on your own web page on Wattpad, I've heard is a good place to do that. And yeah, just get people excited for the story. The next one is proofs and I put for proofreading for your ARCs, your advanced reader copies, we'll talk about that in a second, and for giveaways. So you have multiple reasons that you're gonna to wanna to order paperback proofs. And I would say you would wanna do this at least a month early, but if you want me to talk about proof copies, that seems like a whole video topic all by itself. Put proof in the just in the comments, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, you guys know what to do at this point, right? I don't have to tell you. If you want any of these topics, put it in the comments. Uh, the next one is making a map. And so I did do a video on this one. This is not required at all, but if you have a fantasy world, sci-fi world, where you just like making maps and you want to give it a shot, um, you can go ahead and watch that video. It'll be in the final steps of pub blah, 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 publishing playlist in the description. The next step is pre-orders. So you're going to set up your pre-orders. You guys probably understand that concept, but there's a lot that goes into it. Um, underneath that, I put upload to your print on demand company because you have to have all the information set up. You have to upload it, you know, your file, your cover, etc. Um, and then you submit for the ebook and you submit separately for the paperback and separately for a hardcover if you want to do a hardcover. So I don't do hardcovers right now. I personally haven't put the time in to figure that out. Um, but the eBooks can be done over on KDP, which is the Amazon company, Kindle Direct Publishing. I have a video on that, on uploading and submitting. Go check it out, you know where it is. And then I also have a video on how to do the paperback pre-orders because they're different. And I use a company called Ingram Spark to do that because KDP does not have paperback pre-orders right now. So I have a video on how to do uploading to Ingram Spark in this playlist. So go check it out if you're curious about that. Um, I don't have a video on hardcovers. If I ever figure that out and you guys want a video, let me know and I'll give it a shot. Uh, and then finally, we have two more here. The ISBNs and the barcodes are going to go under this step because you need, you don't need to purchase ISBNs for KDP, but you do need to purchase them for Ingram Spark. So if you go with the free ones on KDP, they become your publishing company. You can no longer use other publishing companies, or at least not with those ISBN numbers, because they're your publishing company. Uh, and so if you don't want to be exclusive like that, and I personally don't, then you can purchase ISBN numbers on a company called Bowker, which is um, B-O-W-K-E-R. I'll put the link for that below as well. And barcodes, on the other hand, you don't need to purchase. Oh my gosh, my arm is getting tired. <sighs> Let's hold it like this for a minute. Um, <laughs> so I do feel like ISBN numbers could honestly be a whole video, maybe to do with taxes and all that stuff, which I'm going to get to in a minute. But the long story short is you don't have to. If you want to start out by publishing on KDP, using their free ISBN numbers, saving yourself money because of your budget. Remember, the budget is important. Um, you want to be making money. You don't want to be super in the hole. So if you want to start out with the more 
free way and use the ISBN numbers that KDP provides, you can always publish a second edition with your own ISBN numbers that you purchase later. So if that helps clear everything up, it's not set in stone. It's not the end of the world. Um, I have put out one of my books. The marketing series is just on KDP and it's free ISBNs and I love it. I've saved so much money on that book. So just a side note, let me know if you want more, you know what to do, comment below. Um, the next step is the setting prices and that's the last step for setting up your pre-orders besides actually there's more in here that I didn't list out, which is figuring out your keywords and your categories and you know what? I will put those, I will add those to the checklist that goes on the Patreon resource library because that is important to figure out. Um, and I can do a video on that as well if you'd like. Uh, but the next step is setting your prices. So you're going to want to look at the competition. What are the books similar to yours price like? And go similar to them or slightly lower to, you know, beat the competition. Simple, right? Um, do that for both paperbacks and ebooks. Don't just do paperbacks and then make the ebooks the same. The ebooks should also be competitively priced. Uh, where are we? So monthly newsletter. You guys know I've said this before and I could do a whole video on newsletters if you want. I think that'd be a valuable video actually. So if you want that, let me know in the comments, but your newsletter is the one place that you have full control and no algorithm is stopping you from reaching people. So it's extremely valuable. And I definitely, definitely recommend that you get into the habit of doing a monthly newsletter. And remember that those people are the people who want to hear about your books the most. Like social media, maybe. It's really easy to follow somebody. They might not actually care that much, but if they're on your newsletter, they really do care about you and they want to know. So value those people, send them a monthly newsletter and be personal. Make it like an email you would actually write to a friend. Um, the next one is to update your website monthly. And I just put monthly because during release months, I would say your website is probably going to need to be updated even more than that. It's probably going to change as you get your cover and your blurb and your launch page. And maybe you want to add your map to it, wherever that is. And all of this stuff, you're going to want to put it on your website because your website is your hub of information and it's everything about you. So you're going to want to keep that really up to date. So I just put a little note to do it monthly, but then I do try to check in and do it more than that. Okay, let's move on to the second side, shall we? Um, your social media posts and presence. I have done tons of videos on social media and I guess I could add them to your final steps to publishing if, if you want. I actually do have a separate playlist called my author platform playlist where I talk about websites as well. So websites, um, Instagram, Facebook, um, social media in general. I think that my patrons want me to do a author tube video soon. So that's on the list to do, um, AKA YouTube. So just have a presence there, like make a plan, commit to a certain amount of posts weekly, monthly, whatever. And same for Goodreads because Goodreads is where readers hang out. So it's just recently hit me. Like, why are we not all on there? Like we should be consistently on Goodreads as authors. They have so many cool things that you can do on there like blogs and updates and even just liking the reviews when people review your book. So that's new to me, but I'm hoping to get better at Goodreads. The next one that I have personally is Patreon because I value my patrons and I want them to get content first before everybody else. So I put that on my list to make sure that I actually do that, that I'm actually connecting with them first before everybody else. But if you don't have that, you can cross that off your list and feel good. One less thing to do, right? Uh, the next one is your cover reveal. Now make good use of your cover reveal. These are huge. They are so, so helpful to you. And you guys, your cover reveal is going to be just so exciting for people. So if you can connect it to your pre-orders and the launch page and all that good stuff, it's only going to benefit you. I could do a whole video on a cover reveal, but instead I think I'll just do a cover reveal soon. I have on May, I think it's May 10th, I'm revealing my cover to my patrons exclusively. And so if you want to see the cover of The Stolen Kingdom before anybody else, go check that out. It's in the comments below, the description box below. And then I'm also doing a cover reveal to the whole world on May 24th, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, that'll be here, by the way, on YouTube. So that's exciting. 
Uh, and then the next one is a book trailer, which I went into that like quickly because in my world, these are connected. I like to do my cover reveal in my book trailer, which is really fun. And I do happen to have a video all about how to make a book trailer. So check that out. You know where to find it. And after that, I had countdowns. So I'm not going to go into detail on countdowns or the teaser snippets, one-liners, coming soon graphics, etc. But graphics that you can create over on Canva are super fun, um, super eye-catching. It's going to be really fun for people to see little teasers and one-liners of your story. So go through your story, pick out one-liners and stuff that you think people would enjoy and share them, um, especially on Teaser Tuesday. Just an idea. Um, after that, finally, we've gotten to ARCs. So advanced reader copies or advanced review copies, depending on who you talk to. Um, ARCs are super valuable for getting your book reviews before it's released. So the idea is they could actually read and review early and leave a review on Goodreads at any time, or they can read and review and leave a review on Amazon once the book is released. And so you will want to be giving these away. Amazon is not okay with you um, like selling books and then asking for reviews. So if you're asking for a review, it needs to be saying, um, would you please give me an honest review? And then you're giving the book. And so you could use things like NetGalley, um, which I have never done, but I'm curious about, and I might try it someday. Or you could send these to Bookstagrammers, for instance, to YouTube um, or BookTube people. And you can just basically, you can either hire a PR company like we talked about over here, or you can do this yourself and, you know, put in the time and effort to reach out to a lot of people um, and a fraction of them fraction of them will answer and then you can ask them to review or if you're like me I am giving ARCs advanced reader copies to my patrons exclusively at this point um, if I do any bookstagrammers it will be um, like with a PR company or like a blog tour or something like that but otherwise it'll be offered to my patrons so if you want to read an arc of The Stolen Kingdom or any of the other books, my patrons automatically get offered them every time that they're available. And yeah, moving on. Giveaways. Oh my gosh, I forgot about giveaways. That's the one time where your arcs would go to just a random person who wins the giveaway and gets the prize of an arc or possibly a different prize. If you have maybe um, like gift cards that you're giving away or something like that. Um, so giveaways are really fun to do just to grow your platform and to grow awareness about your book. So you can be really strategic about creating giveaways and especially leading up to release right around release week, maybe before or right after. It's totally up to you. I do have a video on how to do giveaways, so I will link that in the same place as always. Check it out below. Uh, and then also we have a release party. Now, I don't have a release party tutorial per se, but I do have not just one, I think, but two release parties that I've put on YouTube. So if you go back to my previous videos, just look at my history and you will find the release party for Pearl's number. And then I think I had one on Instagram for the Confident Corgi. So yeah, that was extremely fun. I think the Pearl's number release party was my favorite YouTube video to date because I got to hang out with a bunch of cool people, give away prizes, um, play games. So I planned that out and you're going to want to plan in advance so you're not just winging it because like any good party, if you actually plan it, it's probably going to go better. Copyrights. I do not have a copyright video, but I do have um, one that I refer to by Alessandra Torre. So I'll just put that in my playlist for you guys because I'm probably never going to make a copyright video. It's pretty boring, pretty simple. Um, there's a couple things that can trip you up, but I will link that video for you and you can check that out. Ads, Facebook slash Amazon slash maybe, I don't know, Instagram or somewhere else. You can run ads for your book when it is released. I think possibly you can run, yeah, you can run Facebook ads before it's released actually for things like pre-orders and all that good stuff. So I don't have a lot of experience in this. I do want to try it and I'm excited to give it a shot for the Stolen Kingdom, but I am a newbie to ads, so if you want, I don't know, a video of me learning along the way, let me know. <laughs> or in the future, I can try to do that once I figure it out, maybe. But those are really useful and valuable, I think, just because the more money you put in, 
the more you get out of it. The biggest marketing principle, honestly, is the more you put in, the more you get out of it. So the more time and effort and energy you put in, the more you're gonna get out of it. Like if you're telling a lot of people about your book, a lot of people are gonna wanna buy it. And if you're not telling a lot of people about it, well, makes sense, right? <laughs> so I think that same thing applies to the ads. If you're putting more money into it, you might see more profit. And I do believe that is true. And then the next one here is taxes. Um, yeah, that's definitely a whole video. And so is actually starting a business, like a publishing company business or author business. Um, that's a whole video I could do all on its own, probably connected to the ISBN numbers that I talked about. So if you want that, comment like author taxes or author business or something like that, okay? Because I don't know how many people want that video, but if that's a highly requested video, I will force myself to face it. <laughs> it's not exciting. I'll just give you a heads up. But my one tip that I did right here was print everything. You will be so thankful at the end of the year. So everything that you're buying, anything related to the business, print it out, keep that receipt, anything you are making, print it out, keep all of it and keep track of all of it. So the next thing that I put on the list is asking for reviews because a lot of authors feel like once we release a book, we are like, should we still talk about it? Like, what do I do? I don't know. And I'm in this boat too. I feel awkward about it. But if you ask for reviews, people are a lot more likely to give you reviews because a lot of times readers just don't know how much they help us. They don't realize that. And so if I just say, hey, you guys, if you've read Evelyn's number or Pearl's number in or Marketing for Authors or The Confident Corgi or uh, what's my other book called? Penny's Puppy Pack for Writers, then leave it a review if you liked it. And I would really appreciate that because it will help other readers know that they should buy this book. All right, we're almost done. So the next one is to update your bios on all social media with the new book and same thing with your banners on all social media. So you'll notice that authors, you can tell when they're not active on a social media if these things are out of date. So just take two seconds, well, probably more like 20 minutes total, depending on how many socials you have, to create new banners that have your new book and reflect that in your bio as well by adding the new book's title in your bio. Book signings, of course, are not mandatory, but if you happen to want to do them, you could definitely keep those on your list. I try to do these like maybe twice a year. I feel like they're a lot of work, but they're also a lot of fun and they're super worth it. So I hope to do one of those again soon, but probably not on publishing day. I'll probably figure that out after the book is published. <laughs> Um, and then I also have other marketing promo, AKA don't stop. That's what I wrote there. Cause it's just like, there's so much more that you could do so much that you could try. So don't feel like you're limited to this list. Like if you think of other cool promo ideas and things that I didn't mention, I definitely think that it can be super valuable to do things that are outside of the box because you're going to stand out and readers are going to be like, well, that's new. I've never seen that before. Uh, and then last but not least, you guys write the next book. I cannot emphasize this one enough. I really, really think it's super important to remember why you're here in the first place. Whether your book does well or it doesn't do well, um, write the next one, promote the next one, publish the next one. Like if you are truly in this business because you love writing and you have stories to tell and stories to share, keep writing. And I especially want to say this to debut authors because I think it takes a while as like when you're a debut author, your audience is not as big as it will be when you have 10 books. That's just 100% how it is, unless you went and lived in a hole or something. But anyway, um, you get the idea. Like As a debut author, your audience is naturally going to be smaller than it is 10 years down the road, 10 books down the road. As time goes on, you're going to get more and more people who are excited um, about your book. I'm going to put this down because I'm exhausted. I just want to encourage you guys to write the next book and keep writing because you only get better as a writer every time you write. So it's only going to help you. Don't stop writing. Even now, as I'm doing this release for The Stolen Kingdom, I'm about to start writing book four in the series which is intense and scary, but that's what I'm excited about doing. And I almost said the title of it, but I can't tell you guys that yet. 
Um, so yeah, I will put this over on my Patreon resource library. I will make a checklist for you guys that you can download. So if you want to support me as an author and get cool freebies like that, definitely go check it out in the description box below. And guys, there's literally about 100 links in the description box today because of all the videos I've done on these topics. But if you want more of anything, like if you want me to go in more detail, please comment below. I would love to help you out. And yeah, it's just a very fun topic. And so um, if you want help with a book release and these final steps of publishing, I am available for coaching over on Patreon and I can help you out there. But I hope you have a great day. I hope your book release is amazing. I hope that you're not too stressed. Take a deep breath. <laughs> I need to take a deep breath. We're going to be okay because all of these things, you just do them one at a time and you'll get there before you know it, like three or four months from now, all of that will be done and it will be really cool and really stressful at the same time. <laughs> All right, guys, that's everything I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up to support my channel and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you again next week. Bye.